Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. So, today, you guys, we are going to be doing a drugstore holiday makeup tutorial. This can also work as a New Year's Eve tutorial, so we honestly have a lot of things going on here. I'm really excited to film this video because it's been a really long time since I've featured drugstore products on my channel. You know, I know this time of year, it's a difficult time for everyone and you wanna look your best, so I wanna show you guys how to look your best on a budget, okay? I already did my eyebrows off camera just to save a little bit of time but I do want to show you guys the product that I used because I did think it was pretty cool this is the Maybelline tattoo studio and I use the shade soft brown and it looks like this it kind of has like it can create three lines it gives you that really cool sparse look I don't know if you guys are able to see that right here but I was playing around with it I thought it was pretty cool it definitely did have like a little bit of an inkiness to it so I definitely did have to use a little bit of a brow pencil to kind of map it out but for the most part I used that brow tint or whatever you want to call it and I thought it was actually pretty good so moving on to eyeshadow I really want to do a silvery vibe kind of eyeshadow so I have two palettes here that I want to use. I have one from Milani and one from Wet n Wild. I'm going to use the silver in here from Wet n Wild. And I'm probably going to use the base colors in here from Milani because we have some really pretty matte nude shades going on here. In order to prime my eyelids, I'm going to be taking this Maybelline concealer, the Instant Age Rewind. You can use any type of concealer that you want in order to create it for an eyeshadow base. You just want to make sure that when you are using a concealer that you set it so I'm using the shade medium and I'm just gonna go in and apply this concealer all over like so and then I'll take my beauty blender and kind of blend it out make sure everything is seamless and if you are looking for a decent priced beauty blender I know that morphe has a really good kind of beauty blender vibe I don't really know who else has like good beauty blenders but like to be honest I feel like morphe has one of the best dupes and I'm not like just saying that I mean honestly you guys see me use regular beauty blenders all the time but I think that Morphe has the best dupe so then for powder this isn't drugstore but it is hella affordable this is Colourpop and I'm just gonna use this powder to set my eyelids and I'm just gonna go in and dust it on over so I'm gonna zoom you guys on in for the eyeballs and let's get started all right, so going into the Milani, I'm first going to pick up a transition shade. So I'm gonna take this puppy right here, dust off any excess, and I'm going to start in the center of my eye and just going back and forth. Windshield wiper motions, I'm not doing anything like too, too dramatic and I'm not pressing too hard. This is just so we can have our nice transition shade up in the crease slash brow bone area. And also I have the dogs in the beauty room with me right now and they're walking around so if you hear little toenails and shit, i sorry. I'm trying to get them to relax, but they keep moving around. And I'm like, mm, I gotta film you guys. Just sit still. Personally, I've used these Milani palettes before. This one is the Pure Passions and it's 04. This is that palette. And I think that Milani has some of the best drugstore palettes. Honestly, out there, I have yet to find a drugstore palette that I've like really, really loved. And I think that Milani has some great ones. And then just doing the same thing over here, y'all. Just it's a party, just windshield wiper motions. Back and forth, hunty, yes. Okay, so what I wanna do here, and if I had a piece of tape, I would use it. I don't know where, I used to have this roll of Sephora tape that was meant for this kind of stuff. I'm gonna use a piece of cardboard from one of the products I bought, and I'm just gonna like lay it flat right here and not move this hand. So it may be a little bit difficult for me to explain what shades I'm going to use, so I'm just gonna do that beforehand. So we just finished off with this shade right here. Next shade I'm gonna use is this brown one, more like orangey brown and then final last shade is going to be this one and then for the wet and wild palette i am going to be using this black shade right here and the silver that is in here as well so just bear with me these are the eyeshadow palettes that i am using i'm so sorry i don't have tape but i will try my best to show you guys what i'm doing all right so you want to kind of line it up to about there like kind of 
following the natural line of your lower lash line, if that makes sense. And now what I'm gonna do is just go in with the colors that I said I was going to go in with. And I'm pressing pretty hard here, you guys, so that way we don't have anything that lifts or comes up. So I'm just gonna go in like so and blend it out. And obviously like we can blend more once the card is gone. This is just for right now to have everything down and kind of on your eye and mapped out. And then you could switch to a brush that doesn't have any product on it and kind of like smooth out the edges like so. And then moving on to the darker brown shade. And it is pretty dark, so I'm just going to bring it like halfway onto the lid, like so. And these shades are hella, hella pigmented. Like, I'm so impressed. And I have used this palette before, so I know like how it is, but just in general to like, I don't know, it's better than some eyeshadow palettes that are luxury brand. And I'm just working in the crease. Like, this may look like a mess right now, but I promise when we remove the card, it's gonna look so good. And now going in with this black shade from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm just focusing it very low right here and on the actual lid. I don't want to bring it too high up because I want to make sure we can maintain those transition shades and sometimes if you bring a shadow too high up you lose the gradient effect you have going on with your transitions so that's how I find like keeping the darker shades low on the eye is actually a lot better. And then voila, that looks really pretty, you guys. And then obviously right here, we have a little bit of a mix up, like the shadow kind of bends a little bit, but when we add our winged liner later on, you're gonna be able to even everything out. But this is what it should look like. And then you can always go in with a brush that doesn't have any additional product and kind of blend it out even more up top. But this is pretty much like the look I'm going for, kind of like heavy dramatic in the outer corner and towards the inner corner a lot lighter. And then that's when we're gonna add our pop of silver. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm actually gonna go in with my finger and I have a little bit of Fix Plus on my finger. Ooh, I'm gonna be very careful when applying this because I don't want it to go all over the place because this does have some glitters in it. And I'm just gonna go in like so and kind of round it out. Okay, you guys, so I have my liner done. This is how this part of the eye looks. I think it looks really pretty classic. You could wear it for New Year's Eve, the holidays, whatever you want. So now I'm gonna do the liner for this eye and I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise all day. And then I'm just gonna draw my wing in and kind of fill in the blanks. It's as easy as one, two, three. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara, and I'm just going to pop this on my lashes and kind of prep for falsies going on. And I wanna do a little bit more blending just off the sides here on my eye. Okay, this mascara smells so good. It smells like coconuts almost. To blend a little bit more, I'm gonna take a brush that doesn't have any product on it and I'm just gonna go up here and literally just smoke it out like that. That looks way better and do the same thing over here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's move on to the face. I already have my moisturizer on. I actually forgot to pick up a drugstore primer but I know that Maybelline has a really, really good one and I think L'Oreal has a nice one as well but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys on out. Okay, moving on to the face and foundation. I'm gonna be going in with Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. This is probably one of my favorite foundations besides the L'Oreal True Match. That was definitely an OG of mine back in the day. But I would have to say the Dewy and Smooth and the Fit Me from Maybelline, I am blown away every time I use it. And especially, it's nice that they have the Dewy option for, you know, more dry skinned people out there. Also, let's pray to Jesus himself that I uh, match my shade correctly because I did this when I was a little tipsy, so let's pray to God. There's something about this foundation. It brings me back. It brings me back to when I first started makeup, honestly. I could not afford makeup, like, at all. I um, used to work at my parents' dog grooming business because my parents have a dog grooming business in New York. I would spend every penny I made on makeup. Makeup or guitars. It was usually between those two. Mainly makeup though. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. Oh yeah, I think this is a pretty good shade match. Woo, thank you God, we matched it! Hell 
hell yeah! Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, just, I just wanna celebrate whenever I match my shade right, you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh, hell yeah, I did it, bitch. Now, when you're using a dewy and smooth product like this, you have to make sure you set it because it it's very dewy. Very, very dewy. My cousin Matt, he's really funny. When I was first starting off with makeup, he was kind of like, liked the word dewy. So he'd be like, make me dewy or like whatever. And every time I think of dewy now, I think of my cousin. All right, I feel like I've been using a lot of Maybelline products. I'm sorry, you guys. They're just like, honestly, my favorite drugstore brand, them and Physicians Formula. So I'm sorry for all of the uh, usage of them. I just really like their stuff. And they're one of the few drugstore brands that like I can actually use and not get like a little bit of a reaction from or some weird shit. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in shade medium, so this is gonna be very similar to the foundation shade. I haven't been doing that much of a crazy bright under eye, just because I feel like I look like a lunatic when I do that, so. And since this concealer dries down really fast, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out like the quickest that your fingers will allow you to blend. I'm gonna leave my little nose stripe, that way I can contour. And to contour, I'm using the agent, <laughs> the agent, <laughs> okay. And to contour, I'm using the Instant Age Rewind. And this is in the shade tan. So I'm gonna go ahead, Oh, I need to get a little bit more product. And I apply my contour a little bit higher than it normally should be. It should be sitting around right here. But when you go and blend it out, I find that it's a lot easier to have your contour slightly above. That way it doesn't get below your natural contour line and it doesn't get muddy. I've explained this a lot more in depth in other videos, so feel free to go back and check out some of my older videos if you are new here. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out. And when you're using this product, you wanna work as quickly as you possibly can because like I said, it does dry down very, very fast. I've made that mistake before in the past and oof, did it mess me up. So just be really careful when doing this. And then for powder, I have the color Pop no filter setting powder. This is in the shade translucent. This is obviously not a drugstore product, but it is in the same price point as a drugstore product. So I figure I would include it because I think this is one of the best um, inexpensive formulas out there for a translucent powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and get out any creasing that may have formed and just go right on in. And this powder is definitely like, you know, a little bit goes a long way. So be very careful if you are using it. You don't need a lot at all. But do remember that since we are using a dewy foundation, you do wanna make sure you set it because you don't want things moving in place, moving out of place rather. And then I find that getting out the creases right before you do this is probably the best way and trying to keep your eyes up. So that way they don't crease anymore if you go to look down or anything like that. So trying to keep your eyes up, I find is a better method. And I'm just going ahead and literally setting my smile lines. Setting honestly everything. It's all about manipulating your skin because I, I tell people all the time, like I wear a shit ton of powder. Like you guys see it, you see it in my tutorials. I wear a shit ton of powder, okay? There's no other way to say it than a shit ton. It's just all about knowing what products, what formula, what way of applying works best for you. And if you are interested in a video like that, please let me know, leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to get one up for you before the new year. And then I'm just going to now I'll wipe away all of that powder we have on our faces, kind of blend it into the skin nicely. And I'm using a very, very light hand to do so because this is an essentially a very dewy foundation. So you wanna make sure you are set in all places. And if you're not, get to it. You should be able to feel your face and you shouldn't be sticky. If you feel a little bit of stickiness, I recommend going back into your powder and adding some more where you feel the stickiness. All right, moving on to contour slash bronzer. I'm gonna be going in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I think this bronzer is probably one of the best bronzers I've used in my life. And that's not even including like all drugstores. This is like my entire life. Like this is a really good bronzer and it smells delicious it smells like bananas and coconuts and I'm just gonna go in and start to contour her out and I'm usually not a huge fan of scented things but this is really good it smells incredible I even think they have their 
butter blushes now. I haven't really tried those out, but I hear that they're scented as well. Let me know if you guys have tried them. I really want to get into more drugstore products, honestly. And I'm just going to contour on my neck and on my chin. I've been going through a lot of stress this whole year. I'm so excited for it to just be over with, to be completely honest. I feel like the stress has like changed my face a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. That could also just be me not being nice to myself, so. <laughs> and for highlights, I have have the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic. These are some of my favorite highlighters and I actually hit pan on my old one, which is why I had to buy this new one. The only thing that like sucks about drugstore things is like I wish the packaging was like way easier. Like, you know what I mean? To open up. So this is the shade Molten Gold, AK 100. This is what it looks like, really pretty. Really, really gorgeous highlighter. One of my favorites. Absolutely stunning and hella affordable. For blush, I'm gonna be using L'Oreal True Match. This is in the shade C5-6, Rosy Outlook. I love anything that kind of has like a rosy blush. So I'm just going to add this to the apples of my cheeks. And I also like to add a little bit of blush under my nose. I know this looks kind of intense right now and insane, but my cheeks really absorb powder. I don't know why they do it, but they do, so it'll go away. I'll tone it down, but I swear by the end of this video, you're gonna be like, what happened to her bronzer? What happened to her powder? And then for the lower lash line, I feel like we should just follow that pattern, do a nice little smoky situation, and then kind of add the silver, all that jazz. So I'm gonna go back into the Milani palette right here, and I'm just going to start to add some of those browns that we used as transitions and kind of get them going. And then taking some of that black from the Wet n Wild palette. I'm also gonna add some black in my waterline. And then you could take any type of like fluffy brush and kind of blend out so that you don't have any harsh lines because black can tend to look a little bit raccoony if you have too much of a harsh line and you definitely don't want to take it too low down. So just be careful when using a black shade. And for lips, I'm going to be going in with the shade Appy. This is from ColourPop. Again, really affordable. I don't think it's really out of a lot of people's price range. So that's why I am using this. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really fun time filming this. And also, don't forget, if you do use my looks, to please tag me, because I'd love to see them and repost some of them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a happy holiday and a safe and healthy new year. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.